looking to do this for a very long time. Let's disassemble the Q20, Soundcore Q20, and see what it looks like inside. And by the way, this is my silver Q20. I also have Q30, but that's not the topic today. Uh, I have done multiple reviews on this headset and I actually eventually broke the headband. Now it looks like this. So I decided to, hey, why not take the opportunity to just disassemble the whole thing and let you guys see what's inside and how easy or how difficult it is to replace the ear pads. Or is it even possible? Okay, I broke it. Uh, so it looks like the, uh, the thing is um, just secured by the tips. If you're careful enough, like uh, I, I wasn't. I broke a little bit tip of this uh, clip here. So other than that, it should be pretty easy to snap it back, I believe. Yeah, just like so, it's back. But I was uh, just, uh, you know, I applied too much force here and the whole thing came out. And let me just remove it. Looks like it's secured by glue and it is not possible to put it back unless you buy or, you know, replacement ear pads or glue it back. So that's that. Let's try the left ear cup. Um, actually, I use a pry bar. So this is a pry bar from Legos. Yeah. So if you want to replace the ear cups, don't tear it out with your hands. I use a little plastic pry tool and you would preserve the ear cups. Like this is the left I just took off and this one was taken off with hands so it would cause more damage. Anyway, uh, let's see. So these screws are pretty tiny. You will need a little screwdriver like this. And let's try this side. Oh, looks like it won't do. Okay, this screwdriver is smaller. By the way, I'm working on a uh, audio sample review on the Q20 versus Q30. So that video is uh, probably coming up pretty soon. Okay, oh, this side houses the battery uh, on the left. Well, the battery is here, okay. So I'm not gonna have no intention of preserving the uh, headphones, so I'm gonna just you know, rip it off. So that's the wire goes into the left. This is the left side, this is the right side, and that's the battery. Okay, let's do this and re remove the chip. Not sure if um, Q20 and Q30 share the same chip. But I'm not going to find out anytime soon as I'm, I'm not planning to disassemble my Q30 yet. If you guys um, request that, I may, you know, get a pair of Q30 just for disassemble, you know. So that's the wire goes into the housing um, to the other side. So interesting. 
the charging port is on this side, but the battery is on this side. Charging, charging on, on the right and battery on the left with the chip like so. Um, okay, let's take off the right ear cup too. See what it looks like inside. Do we have a battery on this side as well? I highly doubt it. That's a very, very interesting design decision. As, as you know, I would keep the DC cable as short as possible. I would pick the right ear cup to, uh, to place the battery in, right? Why would you, you know, leave the battery so far away from the charging port? That's what confused me here. Well, it takes a bit of effort to remove the little screws. It's kind of hard. This one is very tough. Okay, I'll just use my Leatherman multi-tool to pry this one open. Is it possible? No, this screw is very strong. I don't think I can open it without re removing this screw. Look at that. Um, interesting. This thing is very, very sturdy. Okay, oh, I got it, I got it. Okay. Well, that's why we have a bigger chip here on the right side this is right ear cup this is left ear cup so the battery is away from the all these chips maybe to avoid um yeah, yeah definitely not enough space to uh, place a battery on the right so i guess this is the main chip for those who will be interested in the um numbers or the chip number, so uh, or the chip model number. This is a very close shot. Okay, I guess you can pause your video and uh, take a close look. Again, from this side, I'm gonna take it off too. So let's see. There's only secured by one little screw here, right? It's very hard. Um, let me get a better tool, actually. Okay, I'm back with the proper tool. This is my precision uh, screwdriver kit with the correct size here. Removing this little screw would be so much easier. The tip is, um, is loose and removable, so ro can, can be rotated, sorry. This little screw is very, very precise. That's nice. Okay. Uh, can be removed now, I believe. So I can use my pry bar to loosen it. That is a little microphone. Look. So on this side, this is the right side where you have the volume up and play control. And ear plugs. There is a little hole here. I believe this is the mic. It has two holes and the one on the right side is that actually doing the work. Let me position my camera a little bit better. Okay. We have two mics. Yeah. 
left and right. Okay, unplug this mic. These little mics. Okay. And that's the wire going to the other side. I am going to cut the wire. Will I be able to pull this wire all the way from the other side? Nope. It is pretty sturdy, so I'm going to just leave it as is. Again, I may take a photo of this chip later and battery as well. The battery looks like it is glued. Yeah, it is glued to the cup. So the battery, I'll be a little bit more careful. Don't want to do a short circuit here. I'll remove the tab first. Okay, removed. That's the battery. On the left side, this is also a little microphone. Okay, that's the little mic. Okay, oh uh, yeah, it is glued to the, yeah, this is very sticky. Okay, that's the battery. Uh, 3.7 volts, 2 point, I'm uh, sorry, 720 milli, milliamps. So that's the total, total um, power is 2.6 watt hour. Okay. So all the buttons are still attached, but they can be easily removed. That, that hole is connected to the outside, like so. But won't that sacrifice the passive noise cancellation? I don't know. So this is the active noise cancellation headphones. Yeah, basically that's it. I'm, I'm gonna cut this wire as well using my Leatherman wire cutter. Okay, it's done. So that's the chip once again with two little mics. As for the headband, we can also, you know, remove the screws. Yeah, let's just do it. Since we already disassembled everything, let's see how the headband was engineered. I believe this part is just to make the headband cushion removable and that's the way it was put put in place from the factory so the little black cushion on top must be secured by these two clips Yes, so there goes the clip to the headband. And the wire is hidden under it. Look, that's the wire. All right, we have four more screws to go two on each side.
yeah, this precision screwdriver kit is so much better than the just the regular little screwdriver. I have so many uh, points I can grip, right? Uh, such uh, much more leverage. Okay, this side is done. Looks like it's secured by a little clip. I should be able to pull it out, I believe. Need more leverage. Yes, got it. Okay, that's the ear cup. I'll do the same thing on this side. So this one can be removed first. There's no wire connecting to this cup now. Yeah, that's the only wire already cut off. The last two screws. Looks like it's, you know, uh, it's built like a tank, actually. It's very, very sturdy. It took me a big effort just to disassemble this. As you see, these, these uh, headbands are a metal material, of course. And if you bend it too much, it end up like this. But it really, I, I, I did like uh, 20, 30 times for it to end up, end up like this. So during normal use, I will be very surprised if you can um, cause any damage to this part. And this wire is so thick. Oh, can I even put it out? There, there, of course, there's a lot of friction and that's the headband. And also very durable. I've been using this pair for more than a year now. Oh, there are two more screws here, but I'm not gonna do anything now. I guess uh, that's it. Uh, uh, well, you have a very good understanding of what's behind these headphones, active noise canceling headphones. Well, look, there are two springs here too. Um, well, active noise canceling headphones, I think I'm gonna Get the speakers out to maybe recycle the uh, mag magnets oh yeah not sure how can i get to that though um, can i do more well it's it's going to be really hard to get this part out not even sure how can I do that without damaging the speaker. I'm not sure uh, what these two springs on each side does, you know, what are their job in this headphone? Maybe just to, as a damper, to avoid vibration? I have no idea.